In this chapter, let's discuss the properties of solids. A state of matter is one of the distinct forms in which matter can exist. For states of matter are observable in everyday life, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. In a solid, constituent particles, e.g., ions, atoms, or molecules, have low energy and are closely packed together. The forces between particles are so strong that the particles cannot move freely but can only vibrate. As a result, a solid has stable, definite shape and volume. Solids can only change their shape by an outside force, or when broken or cut. For example, in ice, water molecules have low energy and are closely packed together. The hydrogen bonds between water molecules are so strong that the molecules and atoms cannot move freely but can only vibrate. As a result, without external force, ice has stable, definite shape and volume. The density of a liquid is usually close to that of a solid, and much higher than that of a gas. Therefore, liquid and solid are both termed condensed matter. Intermolecular forces in a liquid are still strong, but the molecules have enough energy to move relative to each other and the structure is mobile. This means that the shape of a liquid is not definite but is determined by its container. For example, the density of water is close to that of ice, and much higher than that of water vapor. Hydrogen bonds are still strong, but a fraction of molecules have enough energy to break their hydrogen bonds and from hydrogen bonds with other molecules. So, they can rotate and move relative to each other. A gas may be made up of atoms or molecules. In a gas, the molecules have enough kinetic energy so that the typical distance between neighboring molecules is much greater than the molecular size, and the effect of intermolecular forces is small. A gas has no definite shape or volume but occupies the entire container in which it is confined. As liquids and gases share the ability to flow, they are both called fluids. For example, in water vapor, the molecules have enough kinetic energy so that the typical distance between neighboring water molecules is much greater than the size of the molecule. So, hydrogen bonds no longer exists and the Kiesem interaction is weak. Plasma is characterized by the presence of a significant portion of unbound cations and electrons. The presence of charged particles makes plasma electrically conductive. Lightning and neon lamps are commonplace generators of plasma. In a neon lamp, neon atoms are continuously ionized to neon cation and electrons by a high voltage. Driven by the electric field, the cations move to the negative electrode and the electrons move to the positive electrode, conducting the electric current. The cations and electrons also continuously recombine to excited state of neon atom, which then relax to lower energy states, and meanwhile, release their energy in the form of light. The atoms, molecules or ions that make up solids may be arranged in an orderly repeating pattern. Materials whose constituents are arranged in a regular pattern are known as crystals. In some cases, the regular ordering can continue unbroken over the whole solid. Such solid is a single crystal. For example, each grain of sodium chloride is a single crystal. Solid objects that are large enough to see and handle are rarely composed of a single crystal, but instead are made of many single crystals, known as crystallites. Such materials are called polycrystalline. Almost all common metals, and many ceramics, are polycrystalline. For example, most solar panels are made of polycrystalline silicon. The textures observed in polycrystalline silicon result from the different reflective indices of crystallites with different orientations. In other materials, there is no long-range order in the position of the atoms. These solids are known as amorphous solids. Examples include polymers, glass, and amorphous carbon. 
Liquid crystal is a state of matter whose properties are between those of conventional liquids and those of solid crystals. A liquid crystal can flow like a liquid, but its molecules are oriented in a common direction as in a crystal. Liquid crystals consist mostly of rod-shaped organic molecules, such as N, for methoxybenzylidine, for butylanoline, which have an elongated, anisotropic geometry which allows for preferential alignment along one spatial direction. The anisotropy of liquid crystal includes differences in how they interact with electric fields, magnetic fields, and light. When an external electric field is applied to the liquid crystal, the dipole molecules tend to orient themselves along the direction of the field. It lets light of a specific polarization pass through, while blocking light perpendicular to it. So, liquid crystal can change the polarization of light. In a typical twisted pneumatic liquid crystal display device, a liquid crystal layer sits between two polarizers that are oriented at 90 degrees to one another. The electrodes are coated with alignment layers that precisely twist the liquid crystal by 90 degrees when no external field is present. This twisted phase reorients light that has passed through the first polarizer, allowing its transmission through the second polarizer. The device thus appears transparent. When an electric field is applied to the liquid crystal layer, the long molecular axes tend to align parallel to the electric field. In this state, the liquid crystal does not reorient light, so the light polarized at the first polarizer is absorbed at the second polarizer, and the device loses transparency.